Yeah, this is your boy Heavy Starch. Uh, couldn't sleep. It's uh, really, really early in the morning, and uh, just finished a project I was working on. A few finishing touches on it, and that's uh, this um, the Rapid Strike uh, CS18. So you just finished this paint job, which I'm pretty proud of. In light of uh, recent events with mainly assholes and automatic weapons, I decided, like I said, to uh, more or less go the route of uh, Coop and start making more Nerf-friendly blasters, more kid-friendly blasters. Um, really, I'm not what you call a Nerfer or somebody who's more into performance Nerf guns or you know, HVZ type thing. I'm more of a prop builder. But, you know, like I say, most of my stuff, I like to build purpose-built blasters, you know, either they for show and, or for go. This one is for both. Uh, what I did was uh, hit this with a uh, Krylon, let's see, Krylon Color Master. I particularly like this paint here. This is an almond color, try kind of a desert storm feel to it. I like this Krylon Color Master because uh, you can hit it up without primer as long as you do the prep work on the blaster. You can hit this up and uh, pretty much works with a, uh, mm, can't get the cap off, pretty much works with uh, one coat and uh, not really fond of these tips, you know, on the spray can, but like I say, from my old days as a graffiti artist, so I usually have my own caps, but anyway. Hit it with a uh, one coat of almond, then a custom mix hand painted blue. I mixed up with a little bit of silver metallic in it, but that's just to make the military blue pop. So it's kind of a light military type blue. Tried to match the darts, but not quite a little off. So got that, and uh, tactical rails black. Left the clips inside orange. Uh, left the barrel tip orange. And it's pretty much stock except all the electronic locks are removed. Uh, voltage, uh, it's a 9 volt voltage mod, but you can still use, uh, you know, regular C size batteries. I made it versatile, so if you, you know, want to use it in a war, you can actually plug in a bigger battery pack via Radio Shack, you know, with the four AA batteries on each side, so you have eight AA's. And, um, you can add that with the 9 volt clip that's added so that's in the battery tray oh and also to see use old uh, Nerf parts from uh, Recon so what I did was use that in the PVC but this scope uh, I gotta basically do some touch up on it looks a little sloppy just finished it this scope is actually uh, works it's actually a real scope uh, similar to like a golf range finder but the scope actually works uh, Let's see, what's the strength? Uh, 8 by 21, you know. Um, it's, let's see, who does the scope? Okay, Vivitar. Okay, so the scope is actually works. You know, it's not just for show. The scope actually works. So the ranges on the scope is basically you can zoom in from across the room, and I think you get at least uh, 70, 75 yards, you know, with focused or more, you know not quite maybe about a hundred at the most you know what I'm saying but for a nerf war that's cool and on the paint job I put the zombie strike logo you know hand painted that right on top of the blaster with the stencils that come with the other one so I'm pretty much satisfied with the performance uh, you know got the left the clip stock and uh, I'm gonna be selling this one but uh, pretty satisfied with this the usual ranges uh, if you wonder about the ranges then you know you can just go to uh the gatekeeper of ranges, random shadow. But like I say, all the uh, mods were per coop because his stuff seems to be the most consistent. And uh, paint job, like I said, um, and I wanted it to have a military feel to it, but not too military. I wanted you to be able to, at first sight, to go, okay, that's a toy, but at the same time, you know, still have that cool appeal. Like I say, you know, because you want to have fun with Nerf guns and whatever. You're not a lunatic. And uh, one of this particular style of gun looks too realistic if it's done in flat black. You walk out the house, the police will shoot you in the ass. I'm telling you. Uh, so I wanted to make something that's a little kid friendly, but an adult will enjoy it too. You know what I'm saying? Then got the, like I say, got the real scope 
for once in the tactical rail. It's going to probably add a flashlight attachment on it. So I'm pretty happy with this rapid strike. Looks nice. I'd like to send a shout out to my boy Psych, who was first with the Magnus mod. Oh, it's sick, player. It's sick. And uh, that's basically what I'm hoping for so I can do the old Judge Dredd thing with a blaster that finally looks the part. Recon looks the part except for that little piece hanging off the ass that just throws off the whole thing. So hopefully we'll all get a hold to the Magnus and it's easier to mod than the Centurion. So I'm happy with this. Uh, not going to drop this. No. So what? Uh, switch hands. No, no, no. Okay. So, uh, like I say, uh, like I always say at the end of my videos, don't hate, congratulate. And uh, you pretty much know when somebody's hating on you, when you know your stuff is good and they just look at it and they go, mm, it's okay, except for blah, blah, blah. And they get 10,000 criticisms, but they can't tell you why they're criticizing your work or what you could have improved on it. That mean they hate. And uh, last but not least, don't take this hobby too seriously. And like I say, in light of certain events, you know, Guns don't kill people. Stupid ass people with guns kill people. So, uh, like I say, love each other. Don't hate. Congratulate. And uh, to my boy, Psych, keep up the good work. And to Coop, uh, keep doing what you do. And uh, Triple Bifa, sorry I can't pronounce your name. Uh, man, you like the, the dude that's just like the old museum curator of Nerf. And to everybody else out there who does Nerf and takes themselves way too seriously, Get a life. This is supposed to be fun. This is uh, Heavy Starts signing out. Peace.